He's got the toys. He's got showmanship. And he's got sex appeal. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, from the great Southwest, here's the guru of gadgets, the dapper and dashing Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor. Hello, everyone. My name is Don Bain, the Gadget Professor. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate it. We have a great show for you today. It's a, a gadget that uh, I've never seen before. This is kind of what it looks like. Uh, it's a light. It's an LED light on steroids, and uh, we'll talk about that in a minute. If you're new to The Gadget Professor, I'd like to welcome you. Our website is very simple. It's www.thegadgetprofessor.com, and when you get onto that page, if you want, you can just scroll down halfway, and uh, right there, you just click on that button, and you'll be able to watch The Gadget Professor right from the website. If you don't want to do that, you can certainly watch us on iTunes, because uh, all you have to do is subscribe to iTunes, and we're on the Roku, uh, pretty much every glass surface that's out there, you'll find the Gadget Professor. The other thing I just want to mention to you is you want to sh sign up for the uh, newsletter, the show notes, and uh, to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to go back on our webpage, and right there you'll see the newsletter. So if you just click that uh, and put your email address in there, uh, you will definitely get the show notes uh, every Thursday night as soon as the show is posted. Uh, you will get a synopsis of everything that we discussed hotlinked on the show notes. So that's very important that you do that. So right now, uh, let's get into the gadget of the day. And uh, that is uh, going to be right here. Uh, we'll take a look at this on Amazon. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's called the Turcom Airlight LED Desk Lamp. <gasps> with bladeless cooling fan, dimmable light dimmer function, energy efficient, non-flickering for reading, three fan speeds, adjustable neck, and it has a touch sensitive pad. That is a mouthful. This is pretty interesting. Let's take a look at it. Uh, this is what it looks like. Uh, this plugs into the wall. Uh, it comes with a power pack, and uh, the power pack, just the other end obviously just fits right in there. And uh, this is what the lamp looks like. It's, it's totally adjustable. And uh, the on and off switch, everything is quite convenient right up front. So to turn, it's so tall. I mean, I can put this up and uh, you'll see it's, it's a pretty big piece. But this is totally flexible. So that's what the light looks like when it's on. And uh, the on and off switch is very simple. That would be right here on, off. And it's touch sensitive. So there are basically four controls that you would use four levels of light so we'll put this on and uh, I'm going to put the light on me and I know I'm washing myself up but I'm doing that on purpose so that's the lowest it will go uh, one two three four so there's four levels of brightness and there's a little touch uh, button up and down to make it lower so that's one two three four and again that's the lowest it will go Again, it's really nice because you can, you can adjust this any which way that you want. I wish it would go a little bit lower, uh, but it doesn't. There's only four uh, touches, if you will, and that's right there, high and low. So that's the basics of it. It's all LED, as you can see. It's very blinding, but it puts out a nice, even light. I definitely like the light, and I definitely like the fact that it's flexible. Now, here's some of the bonuses. Uh, I think the big bonus for me that I like this lamp was on the back, actually. And right here, you'll see here and here, there are actually two USB ports. So if you take anything that you want to charge, you can actually plug it in to the USB adapter there, and uh, you are charging away. Uh, one thing I, I don't understand is why they did this. Uh, one side is uh, a one amp, and the other side is two amps. I don't know why they just don't make them both two amps. Of course, if you have a smartphone, uh, you'll probably want to use the one amp charger. Uh, or if you have a, a tablet, you'll want to use the higher uh, amperage one, which would be 2.2. But that's a real convenient feature. You have two things that you can charge while you're sleeping or reading or whatever you're doing when the lamp is on. So I think that was a great idea, and I, I definitely, uh, definitely like that a lot. So uh, that's that. Now, here's the part that's almost laughable. Uh, I'm going to turn the lamp off. And uh, it has a fan, and the fan is a bladeless fan, which is right in here. 
And again, there are three speeds. Now, you're not going to be able to hear the fan, I don't believe, because it's very quiet. Uh, although on the highest speed, the third speed, you can hear it, but uh, you're not going to see anything. So uh, if you look right in here, I think you'll see a green light. Right now, the fan is off. So I'm going to, again, click this button here. And there's one. Now, you'll notice the light right there on the top. And I'm going to turn it on the side so you can actually see it's green. So that's level one. That's level two of the fan. And that's level three. I'm going to put this right to the microphone. I don't know if you can hear that. Fans off. Level one, two, three. Uh, the fan definitely does work. However, uh, the functionality of the fan, in my opinion, is absolutely useless. Uh, it does put out a breeze at, at best. Uh, uh, it's pretty much useless, let's put it that way. Uh, even on the top speed, speed three, the fan barely puts out uh, uh, any relief whatsoever. Uh, I guess in theory it does move the air around, and if you're standing or sitting right in front of it, you may feel a slight breeze, but uh, that's about it. So in general, I, I really do like the fan. Uh, it is not too expensive, and it makes a great reading light at night uh, or uh, if you turn it all the way up it actually could be almost a room light so that's kind of nice it will be low energy because it's using led bulbs so that's also a good thing now let's take a look at the price this is kind of interesting if we take a look at the uh, website I'm, I'm just using amazon right now but uh, they sell this for 50 bucks and it's called the uh, turcom uh, that's the brand name that that it is and it's 49 dollars however uh I picked this up at uh, Best Buy, at, not at Best Buy, at Costco, I'm sorry, at Costco, and it was $29, so uh, it's 20 bucks cheaper, and uh, it also had the USB ports on the back, and the one that is advertised on Amazon, the Turcom one, uh, doesn't have that, so uh, I think it's the same exact fan, maybe Costco uh, had a special uh, manufacturer's uh, deal where they put the two USB ports on the back. I would not have purchased the lamp at all if it didn't have the USBs on the back because uh, at that point I don't think it's worth it. But for 30 bucks, uh, it's well made and I think it's uh, uh, a great value. And if you're in the market for a, a lamp, uh, check the one out at Costco. You could probably order it online, but I'm sure you have to be a Costco member. And uh, again, it's the exact same lamp that's featured on uh, Amazon under the name of Turcom. This particular lamp is called Ultra Bright, and it was 29 bucks at Costco. And uh, again, it's well made. I really like it. Uh, the fan is just a gimmick as far as I'm concerned. It's totally, totally useless. But hey, that's why you watch the Gadget Professor Show. All right, let's take a look at some apps of the day and uh, actually some interesting stuff. Uh, today, I think I have some really cool apps. Uh, let's take a look here. Uh, this is uh, an article that I think you're going to like. Uh, this is a, a, a scary thing, actually. It's uh, all over the Internet. This is put out by uh, Slashdot.com. Again, this will be in the show notes. But uh, what we have here is an article about a gentleman who actually paid uh, a lawyer 12000 bucks to take his case to court. What happened? Well, this guy's from Massachusetts. He's 66 years old. And what he did is he sold a used black and white printer on Craigslist. I kid you not. And I think the total price was 75 bucks for someone to buy this printer. Whoop, I just hit my light there. Let me turn that off. So what happened is uh, the guy who purchased the printer, for whatever reason, didn't like it. And he got the guy at a point leg legally where he sued him for thirty thousand dollars in damages no one was hurt nothing like that but because this guy on craigslist who kind of knew the law uh and knew how to sue people sued this dude and it was beyond an annoyance thing the guy actually had to have a lawyer and it's still in court and this is what aggravates the heck out of me uh with our legal system but if you really want to read an article that's just going to send chills up and down your spine uh this is a good read the next uh thing that we're going to talk about is a free app and uh, you got to get this app you have to get this app uh, the reason you got to get this app is one because it's free but more importantly than being free it's called CyberGhost VPN and this is going to secure your digital lifestyle 
And essentially what I mean by that is you'll be able to uh, break free from all your privacy and security worries. There's over 8 million downloads of this. It's easy to use, and you can basically browse to your heart's content, and it essentially keeps you secure. So it's totally free. Uh, they have a paid version for uh, a build annually. It's 583 monthly. And uh, it's available on Windows, Mac, and the Android. What's nice about this, uh, about a, VP, a virtual private network, VPN, is that uh, no one's going to hack into what you're doing or read what, you're, what, what it is that you're looking at. And if you're out of the country and you want to watch a particular football game or vice versa, uh, you can use this VPN, and uh, it's totally free. Typically, they always cost money. And uh, you're, you're protected. So definitely, definitely uh, load this and use it. It's real simple to operate. I, I did it in like 10 seconds. So uh, particularly if you're on your smartphone uh, and you're at an airport or whatever, you really want to use uh, a, a VPN. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So you definitely want to check this app out. You'll be secure, and it's free. If you want to get the paid version, obviously it will have more things in it than the other uh, free version did, but check this out. And now, I just fumbled on this app last week, and uh, man, I've used it almost every day. It's called PhotoSync. It's going to cost you three bucks. I'm telling you that right now. It's going to cost you three bucks. But what this allows you to do, and it's quite clever, and it works so well, you can transfer to and from your computer all the photographs that you take on your smartphone. It doesn't matter whether you're Android or the iOS system. So anything that you photograph on this will automatically be transferred to your computer. Or if you have some uh, uh, photos that are on your computer, Mac, PC, doesn't really matter, and you want to bring those into your phone, you can also do that. So this will allow you to back up photos and videos and videos from the iPad to your computer and send photos and videos from your computer to your iPad. The features are transfers and backs up your photos and videos from the iPhone, iPad, iPod. Uh, touch uh, to all your Windows, PC, Mac files. We talked about that. Send photos and videos uh, wherever you want. They're imported directly uh, into your camera roll or into your album that you've defined. So that's all good. And uh, to say it works flawlessly would be an understatement. I have not had one problem with it. It also works with FTP, DAV, Facebook, uh, the whole bit. So if you have uh, like even SmugMug, uh, it's all compatible with that. Here, here's a, a brief synopsis of what you can import to uh, Dropbox, Flickr, Google+, Picasso, uh, Amazon Cloud Drive, Facebook, SmugMug, which is what I use, uh, Zenfolio uh, Box, uh, OneDrive, Google Drive, SugarSync, all interact and will sync up flawlessly with this uh, photo sync. So uh, for three bucks, that app for three bucks was worth a lot more than that to me. So check this out. They have a wonderful website. You can watch the demo. And if you ever wanted to make sure that your photographs are automatically backed up on your smartphone, uh, this is the device. This is the sync app that you want to do that. Plus the fact if you have a, a smug, mug, smug mug account or any of those other uh, transfer items that uh, transfer uh, functionalities that I mentioned this is a great app the other thing is it gets rid of the photos on your phone to give you more room and that's one of the crucial things that always drive me nuts on my iPhone is that I fill it up all the time with photos now they're automatically backed up so I can just shoot them and delete and I'm not mistaken I believe I saw a little click on this app that allowed you to automatically delete the photos after they've been sent up to the cloud or wherever it is that you're sending them. So uh, that's definitely a, a, a good app to check out. Now, uh, this is an interesting one. Uh, this is an app that will help you clear your printer. If you've ever had a printer jam and you don't know why it's jammed and you're pulling everything apart, if you use this PrintQ Clean app, this will definitely, uh, unequivocally, push that last page through if it's stuck. If it's crunched, it's not going to do that. You'll have to open up the printer and pull the page out. But uh, if you're not sure why your printer is not working, uh, just install this and click Fix It, and that's it. It just clears the queue out and uh, starts from scratch. Very nice app. Again, totally free. Now, here's an app that uh, I highly recommend. It's called... Uh, 
flux, and I kind of mentioned it maybe two months ago. Uh, I never really played with it until last night. Uh, flux will make your screen kind of, uh, how do I say, ergonomically safe, not safe, but okay to watch your computer screen at night. So did you ever notice how people are texting at night and have that eerie blue glow? Well, this will take care of that automatically for you. Uh, essentially, Flux makes the color of your computer display. I'm trying to lean down because I'm in front of my, com my camera. Adapt to the time of day, and it will keep it the right Kelvin temperature for you 24 hours a day. That means you're not going to be blinded by the light, and also it will help you sleep better if you occasionally get up in the middle of the night and check your email or whatever it is you're checking. So load this down. Uh, it's for the Mac. It will work on Linux. It will work on the iPhone the iPad, and of course the Android. So whatever your platform is, Flux will work for you. And uh, again, if you're at, up at night, uh, they've done a lot of research and they know for fact that the bright light, that white light that comes off the tablets particularly, uh, will keep you awake forever. So uh, put Flux on and it will be ergonomically better for you. And then our last app is uh, an important one, and a lot of people don't know this exists for free. It's a free OCR software, and OCR stands for Optical Character Recognition. And what these programs will do is allow you, if you have a scanner, to scan in a document or a photograph, and it will automatically take all the words and graphics and transform them into a Word document, which means you can edit it, print it out, do whatever you want with it. And there are a variety of these programs that are available that cost a lot of money. Uh, these five or six programs are totally free and work quite well. So this is a list of these free uh, optical character recognition softwares that you probably want to use. Uh, if you're contemplating buying one, uh, I would definitely check these out. And uh, they're all listed where you can get them. And they also will automatically scan in your files and save them as a PDF file. Why do you want a PDF file? Because that is easier to... Uh, send across the internet. It's not a large file. It's a compressed file. And uh, I always would send PDF files rather than the actual document. The other thing is it's a little bit harder to edit uh, and uh, basically destroy uh, a PDF file uh, opposed to a Word file. The Word file, if you send a Word file, people can edit to their heart's content, even if it's locked. Uh, there are ways around that. PDFs, it's a little bit more difficult, although not impossible. But if you want something that will automatically scan in a document for you and uh, pretty much 99% of the time recognize all the characters, this is the devices. These are the actual apps that will do that. And you also have the ability, because they're not 100%, if a word is misspelled, they actually have spell recognition and will highlight in yellow or red or whatever a word that's misspelled. And then you'll have the opportunity to go into Word and actually change that and correct the spelling. So these are really handy, and uh, they're a lot cheaper when they're free than uh, buying one piece of software. So uh, that's going to kind of wrap it up today. Of course, if you want to email me, uh, you can do that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that would be uh, thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com, thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. I hope that you enjoyed today's show. I enjoyed bringing it to you, and I will see everybody next Thursday night. So long from The Gadget Professor. <laughs> The Gadget Professor is produced by Don Bain. Multimedia Communications, LLC. If you would like your product reviewed on The Gadget Professor or would like to appear on The Gadget Professor, contact us via email at thegadgetprofessor at gmail.com. The opinions expressed on the program by the host, guests, call-in listeners, or chatters are solely the opinions of the original source who expressed them. And thank you for watching The Gadget Professor. Gadget Professor.